Hello, this is Mark Lieber with Ortho Arizona. Today we're going to talk about epicondylitis of the elbow. There are two types, lateral and medial. People come in and present to the office uh, with pain on the outside or inside of their arm. This can be attributed to many activities, most of which are repetitive grasping. They do have other names. We have tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. Ironically, most uh, people that come in either never play tennis or golf. Once in the office, we'll evaluate the arm, uh, palpate, and, pro and cause provocative testing to see if there's any uh, pain in that area. There are a few other diagnoses that need to be ruled out. And once we've made the diagnosis of lateral epicondylitis, then we talk about treatment options. Many times, we consider this diagnosis self-limiting. That means eventually the pain is going to go away no matter what we do. However, to help alleviate the pain in the short term, various treatment modalities including ice, rest, stretching, and strengthening have been shown to uh, benefit the patient to get the pain uh, lessened and also uh, not as long. If those treatment options don't work, then we can do formal physical therapy, which includes multiple modalities, as well as injections. With injections, there is steroid injections, which uh, decrease inflammation in the area and allow the uh, tendon to relax and therefore be more apt to stretch out with therapy. There is platelet-rich plasma, which also can be injected and has been shown to uh, benefit some patients. If, in the very rare scenario that none of these options are beneficial and you've given it enough time to heal on its own, surgical intervention can be performed. Uh, surgery is done as an outpatient procedure with a small incision over the lateral aspect of the arm or over the medial aspect of the arm, depending on which diagnosis you have. And it is a process of debriding the tendon, uh, which means cutting it out, that is diseased. We roughen up the bone at the same time, and this creates an environment for it to heal uh, and return to a more normal physiology. The recovery can take some time. It can take anywhere from two to four weeks on small tendon injuries and up to three months for larger tendon injuries. In some cases, the recovery can be as quick as two to four weeks. In other cases, with larger tears, it can take 10 to 12 weeks to fully heal. I appreciate your time. We here at Ortho Arizona have many orthopedic specialists to treat you for all your orthopedic needs, including lateral and medial epicondylitis. Thank you.